Are you running a manufacturing company? If yes, you might have equipments at your company. Managing and maintaining this equipments is not a really easy task, right? What if you have a module to maintain all these equipment management? Yes, Odo 16 has a module called the maintenance module. Inside the maintenance module, you can easily manage and maintain all the equipments which are used by your company. Accurate planning for equipment maintenance is vital for running your business smoothly. So welcome back to this video where we are going to discuss how to configure equipment management in the maintenance module of Odo 16. Let's get started. Let's open the maintenance. This is the maintenance module. So once you open it, you can see all the maintenance teams. So the first thing which we are going to do is configure a new team. For that, go to the configuration. Here we have maintenance teams. So you can see the pre-created teams and all. We are going to create a new one. So for that, click on the create button here. Okay, I'm giving the name as Dell Laptops. Okay. After that, you have configured a team and all. You've saved it. Next thing which we have to do is create a work center. So go to the equipments. You can see work centers here. Click on that. And let's create a new one. So these are the work centers which are already there in the system. Let's create a new one. So I'm giving us Dell Station 1. Okay. So here you can give the code of the work center, the working hours, company, tag, and also alternative work center. So if you can mention any alternative work center corresponding to this work center, here you have the general information section where you have the production information, operation, analytic account, uh, that is the costing information where you have analytic setup time, cleanup time, cost per hour and all. So here you can set the cost that is for per employee and per work center. So I'm setting it as 100 and per employee I'm giving it as 50. Okay. So you, you can set up uh, the time here that is the setup time can be provided here and also the cleanup time. Okay, and if, if it requires a login, you can just check it. Okay, who all are allowed to log in, those employees can also be chosen from here. So I'm unchecking it for now. Then we have the specific capacities. So you can set the capacities, that is you can add a product and the capacity, that is how much quantity of that product can be, uh, you know, handled by this uh, work center. So you can choose any of the products from here. So I'll choose a pen. Capacity will give us 20. Okay. Similarly, you have the equipment. So equipments in this work center can also be added here. So you have this much equipment. So I'm giving the laptop select. Okay. So here you have the MTBF and MTTR. Um, we'll see about that. Then we have the IoT triggers. So if you want to add any devices, that is the IoT trigger devices, you can add it here. And here you have smart buttons which shows the OEE, that is the loss, thus load, loaded minutes and also the performance of the work center. Okay, we'll just save it. Now after saving, let's go back. Now inside the equipment itself, we have categories, right? So go to the configuration, open equipment categories. And let's create a new category. So let's create a category called the monitor uh, one or something. I'll give. Okay, so I've created a category, a responsible person, company, and here you can add comments for this category. Okay, so I'm saving it. You can see the maintenance and equipment regarding this category. Now, after the equipment category, what you have to do is go to the equipments. Let's create machines and tools. Okay. So I'm going to create a new one. Create putting Dell laptops. Okay. So you can put the equipment category also. I'm putting monitor one. The one which I created right now. And also you have the option which is used by. So you can choose from department employee another. Okay, so currently it's an employee. I'm not changing it. You have the option to add the maintenance team. So I'm adding the maintenance team, which I created right now, which is the Dell laptops. Okay. 
then we have the technician okay and used in location and also work center so i'll add the work center which is dell station okay so if you have any description you can give it here the product information can be given here and also the maintenance that is the preventive maintenance okay then maintenance duration that is in hours then also the expected mean time between failure that can also be given here okay after that let's go to the maintenance request and create a new maintenance request so i'll give screen not working okay so you can see who created it the equipment can be chosen from here okay so we've created an equipment right so i'll just choose hp laptop okay so here we have the team you can choose the team from here i'll put dell laptops you can set priority here the scheduled date okay and also the company manufacturing order okay to which manufacturing order this request belongs to that can be chosen from here and also you can give a description okay now let's save it currently it's uh, in the state called the new request so just go back by dragging and dropping it you can change the stages so currently it's in in progress once it's repaired you can put it in the repaired section so if you open it you can see it is repaired okay here you can see the log okay where it says the state changed when it's once it's repaired and all it seen there okay so this is how you do the maintenance that is the management of equipments this is how you send maintenance requests and repairs and all are done in such a way that was all about the equipment management i hope it's clear to you all thank you so much for watching see you in the next video